Okay, so this is the standing post or Zhang Zhuan Qigong. There's a few variations uh, that I've seen over the years and have learnt over the years. This is just the one that I tend to practice. And it's static postures, so you might find that you're aching a little bit. If you need to shake loose, get rid of the lactic acid, get loose, and then maybe come into a slightly higher posture, a slightly easier foot. See what works for you. So start off natural stance, settling down, get the inward or crease, knees slightly open. Your toes might be naturally start, turned out to the sides. Back of the neck lifted up as if someone's behind, just lifting your head up for you. The top of the head lifted up, chin just lightly tucked in. Chest relaxed, lower back relaxed, and the arms just hanging loose. But have a sense of this little bit of space underneath your armpits. And then just take a deep breath in, relax in the stomach as you breathe in. Hold the breath just for a moment or two, and then when you're ready, Breathing out. So nice and steady. Deep breath in. Hold in just for a moment and then breathing out. So nice and steady. As you're standing, just keep breathing nice and easy, nice and deep, nice and relaxed. Have a sense of feeling your weight pushing down into the floor. The heels have just got slightly more weight than the balls of the feet, so you have a sense of sitting backwards, just a tiny bit into your hips. Your eyes may be focused on the opposite wall, may be focused into the distance, or maybe slightly closed, or completely closed, just whatever works best for you. But the main thing is you're paying attention to your posture, so you can feel any tension building up, and consciously relax it. Now, how long you hold each of these postures for is up to you. Around about eight breaths is good, and as your breathing slows down, you'll hold the postures for slightly longer. But it all depends how much time you've got. It's very easy just to use this as a quick standing relaxation. Your mind will calm down as you get used to the movements, the postures. And you're just aware of your body relaxing. So one more deep breath in. And then on the next breath in, bring the hands up to about belly button level. So if you're holding a big basin in front of you. And this time, every time you breathe in, just imagine breathing into the space between your arms. As if you're filling it up. Every time you breathe out, have a sense of empty in the space. Maybe as you breathe in, you can feel your lungs filling up. You can feel the arms being pushed apart slightly as your ribs are moving. As you breathe out, you feel the ribs contracting. You feel the arms being pulled back in again slightly. So just use that sensation to emphasize the idea of filling up the space between your arms and then emptying the space between your arms. Depending on how much you've folded the hips, your thigh muscles might be working quite hard by now. So as much as you can, just allow them to relax. So you're holding your posture, keeping a good stance. But if you need to shake loose, you can. So a couple more deep breaths in. Holding. And again, release. One more time. Then the next time you breathe in, bring the hands up to about heart level, so about the centre of the chest. Elbows slightly sunk, so your shoulders stay a bit more relaxed. 
it's very easy your arms to come up, your body to come up, so again notice if you're unfolding the hips, let them fold a little bit more if you can. Have a lower back relax. Your shoulders might become more tense now because they're holding the arms up a little bit higher. So every time you breathe out, just allow the shoulders to soften again. Just a little bit more. And again, have a sense of filling the space up between your arms. As you breathe in, and as you breathe out, emptying the space. Again, pulling the stomach in slightly as you breathe out, just emphasising emptying the lungs. As you breathe in, relax the stomach. Notice if your lower back has tensed up at all. It's very easy to let parts of your body tense up as you're holding a position. So just let your awareness move around your body. Just notice any of this tension. And as much as you can, just let some of it fade away as you breathe out. Then the next breath in, bring the hands up, palms facing away like you're holding a big pair of binoculars. That's called looking up at the moon. So because your arms are even higher now, you've got shoulders might be a little bit more tense. So if you can, imagine doing this underwater, your arms suspended by the water. Or somebody just holding your arms up for you. So you can just allow your body to relax. And again, still get a sense of breathing into the space between your arms, filling it up emptying it as you breathe out. Still have the fingertips nice and long, the wrists relaxed, the arms soft, the shoulders as loose as you can get them and still holding the posture. One more deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, let the hands come down. The next posture, this one's called calming the waters. Just imagine you're studying water up to your hands, your hands are just resting on the water. Your arms will feel relaxed and soft now. Feet rooted down into the ground. Back of the neck still lifted up and my chin again still lightly tucked in. So just enjoy the softness in the shoulders now. Relax in the spine. Now your arms are being held up. Chin is still lightly tucked in. Your mind is still calm and quiet. You can hear all the sounds around you, but you're not distracted by any of them. So anytime a new loud sound that comes in and gets your attention, just acknowledge it and then let it go. One more deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, bring the hands onto the dantia. So drawing your attention back into your centre. And just for the next few breaths, as you breathe in, follow the air into your lungs. Let your attention keep coming down from the lungs, down to where your hands are. Have a sense of filling the space up as if you're recharging a battery. Maybe you can give the air that you're breathing in a colour, a sensation that you're drawing into your body. 
that you're storing underneath your hands, but just see what works best for you. So you're slowly filling the body up. As you're breathing out, have a sense of letting this energy, this colour flow around to maybe your feet, the top of your head, out to your fingertips. And then as you breathe in again, drawing more of this energy in, just in any way that feels right for you. As you breathe out the last time, just let your arms hang loose, straightening the legs, shaking loose. So your thighs might be aching quite a little bit now. If not, you obviously weren't working hard enough. And that should set you up for the day. Nice and wide awake now, hopefully, and away you go.